Once upon a time, some scientists wanted to build a machine that could see like us, understand our language, and especially make intelligent decisions for us. As they got to work, they realized that they had a lot to learn about vision, language, and intelligence. Over the years, they learned more, but it was difficult and expensive. One day, they noticed that machines can learn how to make good decisions without necessarily understanding what they are doing. They just needed lots and lots of good examples. The scientists got to work to find all the examples they needed to teach their machines. But it was difficult and expensive. One day, they noticed that a lot of data already existed as the result of other activities. This data helped the machines learn many new things, but they realized that they still needed information about the user's goals and preferences if they were to best serve them. They considered asking directly, but it was difficult and expensive. One day, they noticed that they could just observe what people did and use that to replace explicit feedback. At last, the scientists could build their intelligent machines without a model, without expensive training data, and even without expensive annotation about user preferences. It was time to celebrate. They could finally create machines which could make decisions for us. But one day, things started going awry. Some machines were making unfair decisions. Others made unhealthy suggestions. People weren't happy, and neither were the scientists. They needed to fix their machines, so the scientists went back to work. Scientists have come a long way in understanding how AI interacts with human-generated data, and we now know that our intuitions and natural assumptions may be wrong. Small differences really can have big consequences. Perhaps if we want to live happily ever after with AI, we should be prepared to pay for it. Certainly, we need to learn more about the interactions between human behavior and machines. At the University of Bristol, scientists, philosophers, and social scientists are working together to understand how we can live safely with AI. <laughs>